Hello everybody. For repair I have another power supply. It's deep cool. 750 watts. Gold standard 80 plus. Not so bad for its price. After opening the power supply, I've noticed that piece of transistor that fell out of it. It's 13N50 and it fell from here, from that transistor. So it means at least we have blown fuse, one transistor, usually it's not only one, usually at least it's two of them. On that side there is nothing burned, which is good. So I have to unsolder the radiator to transistors and see what else is blown. Okay, I desoldered transistors. That piece fits right in, like this. Also, after checking, I found that another transistor from that shoulder was bad and on the other shoulder, here, on the other side of the bridge, those two transistors are good and on the other one, on the other side, those are blown, which usually happens. And also there is a short circuit to the gate, it means that it, we have to check the SMD components on the gates, usually resistors are also blown when you see the short at the gate. This IC controls PFC, it is good, I've already checked it. The PWM IC is on the secondary side, which drives those transistors, so it is usually good. So I just have to change transistors, gate, resistors. I remove transistors from that donor power supply. I have quite a lot of them. The guy who brought power supply to me also brought about 20 those boards. So I have a lot of spares. Those are the same transistors, 13 amps, 500 volts, marking is a little bit different, but at, in other parameters it's the same. Let's solder those back. I didn't show the gate resistors replacement, those were 10 ohms. While we have capacitor removed, it is a good practice to check it and it is good. When main inverter goes bad, it is rarely that capacitor goes bad, but when PFC transistors are shorted, it is very often that the main reason why those shorted is the bad bulk capacitor. So you have to have it in mind. Also replace the fuse. I'm quite confident that everything is going to be fine, so I don't put a wire at first. If you don't confident, you can put a wire check and if everything works put the fuse after that don't forget to clean it's not necessarily but just for a good look also it would be a better practice to dry before testing alcohol is not conductive but anyway
At first I connect isolating transformer because it is quite dangerous to connect directly mains. If you don't have isolating transformer you can use at least light bulb in series because you cannot see all the problems. Maybe there is something left. As you can see PFC working, lamps blinking. Now I shunted my lamp and all the voltages are present so we can put everything back but before touching the board don't forget to discharge bulk capacitor because it can be about 400 volts and it can be very dangerous to touch you can use a resistor or a light bulb like I do now 50 watts light bulb like this would do the job. Now we can safely handle it, put everything back and make a final check with mains already. Now I'm gonna use an industrial kind of industrial tester. So you can see power good is present, it means supervisor is C didn't find any problems with voltages and the power supply fixed. If you like it, give it a like and see you next time. Bye.